We're going to quickly go through a swing clip from YouTube. I'm going to try to post the link in the description of this video, but just being able to kind of get through it, I kind of had to hunt around, found one um, of kind of slow motion. It's an extremely good video. I'm also going to try to link Barry up to this too so we can see some similarities. Um, and this basically comes from an email that I got having to do with John Cruck and talking about, um, um, you know, pull holes swing and, you know, some of the other swings that we see in Major League Baseball and how there's some differences, you know, some of the things that people do different. And, you know, it came from one of the dads, you know, of a, a student um, that studies with me. And, you know, for me, I need to really make it absolutely clear that that basically as you get better as you as you as you move up and you're facing kids that are better trained or are more dedicated than what you might be finding at the level of play that you're playing right now you know the biggest secret to hitting is that there is no secret and as simple as we can get it is uh the better you're gonna do we're talking about just just over the blink of an eye to create um an efficient swing a simple but efficient swing sometimes called simple efficiency and you know it's some of the stuff that we'll look at so without too much more of a type of introduction thing what I'm going to do is you know basically kind of run this through and try to uh and try to just point out some stuff that makes sense you know um one thing that's really good to watch on Bryce and this is, uh, you know, Bryce is using a metal bat here. I'm going to freeze it right there. Using a metal bat, he hits the ball 502 feet. And, and um, you know, obviously the metal bat <laughs> plays some role with it, but he's 16 years old. So, you know, what role it plays, who cares? I'm going to be real honest with you. Who cares? This is just tremendous movement. There's lots of you know, basic, simple things. And so what, if I could slow this thing down even more, I don't know how to do that. I kind of really wish I did kind of like TiVo this thing somehow and then put it into super slow. So, but what I try to do is just, you know, kind of frame by frame it. But what we have held here is kind of right at the point, you know, right at the point where he went from load to unload and then into contact. And so I'm going to, try to back this up kind of one more time and let it get to the part where it was playing that slow motion so we go from basically talking about from low to unload we're talking about watching the barrel kind of you know move out into the stride with the mass of the body watch the tip of the barrel tip towards the pitcher and then right at the moment where um the front toe gets on the ground and his rotation takes the front heel into the ground it brings the back heel up you'll see the direction of the bat going the opposite way back towards the catcher and just notice how you know the mass and the length of the bat are really linked to the center of rotation so absolutely closely and it's phenomenal to watch Bryce kind of create this it's also you know nice to watch Bryce how I'll back it up even a small bit more and we can kind of watch that single tap that he's so you know, kind of infamous for, which he doesn't do here. But we take it through and, okay, sorry about that because I was kind of watching the tap or whatever. Usually the tap happens right at the top. So anyway, so I'm going to frame by frame this as he goes into, into kind of load, into kind of load. And all we're looking for is the bat to tip the opposite direction. Still going into load, kind of over the center of rotation. Still going over the center of rotation. Still going over the center of rotation. Still going over the center of rotation. And very, very quickly, if you notice, there's no rotation of the middle. There's none of that going on whatsoever. Notice kind of the pelvic loading that's going on in the back hip. Watch the front, you know, leg creating that blocking loading type motion in the pelvic area. It's, this, is this is unload right here. This is where the unload is going to begin. And we'll begin to see the middle come through, the back heel come up, and the bat begin to go the opposite direction, which we still don't see yet. It's kind of, this is there. And right about right now is 
is when we start to see the middle come through and we see the action of the barrel turning down and through. So what I want everybody to really notice, what's so good to notice, is how close that the bat is to the body. And when we talk about loading and unloading, you know, obviously the better we can coil, the better something we can bring into the, you know, to the center of rotation, you know, the, the better we can coil this in. We sometimes talk about it being a tilted tornado. Um, and as we turn through, it kind of sucks the knob, sucks the length, sucks everything into this center, into this tornado. And then on the front side, just spits it out and spits out the end of the barrel. So now bear in mind, as Bryce goes through this, I can't count frames here. This is YouTube. So I can't go frame by frame. I can go click by click. And I have no idea if that's realistically grabbing every frame, but we'll kind of take this through and just notice how close the bat is to the center rotation. Notice how close it still is as the front forearm gets parallel to the ground. Um, notice the blocking action of the front leg. We kind of turn it through. We're coming into the bat lag position right now. Notice he's all the way up on the back toe and he's off the ground right now. And I believe this, this is, you know, I don't know who shot this, but you can't get a real good look at the barrel. But I believe this is bat lag right here. He's basically right at bat lag. The end of the bat pointed towards the catcher and the foot off the ground. You know, the foot, you know, absolutely off the ground. Watch the blocking action. This is absolutely, this is phenomenal. And there's so much to be seen through this. And it's a really good job. I'm going to save this. I think everybody should kind of watch it. I'm going to kind of let it go through a little bit. And like I said, in the descriptions, you can go to YouTube and watch this and do the same thing. And, you know, really study it. This is just, this is phenomenal hitting by this young 16-year-old. Really, really outstanding hitting. So, I'll kind of let it play through and then kind of be quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off now and... I'll see you guys later.